CVS pharmacists who participated in a statewide walkout to protest the current working conditions say progress has been made. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lucas Geisler. And I'm Megan Drakis. Yesterday, multiple sources told ABC 17 News at least 32 pharmacists in the Kansas City area participated in that walkout. CVS held a meeting with some of the organizers to discuss possible improvements. Tonight, ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky spoke with several pharmacists who participated in that walkout. And Mitchell pharmacists are optimistic that positive change is coming. Megan Lucas, I spoke with one pharmacist who helped organize the walkouts, and they say they feel more has been done in the last seven days for the retail drug industry than what's been done over their last 20 years working at CVS. I didn't hear about it until Friday, but from the moment I did hear that something was going on, I, I jumped in and have been doing everything I can because my top priority is advocating for my patients and my coworkers. Corey Schneider was one of the Kansas City area pharmacists who participated in the walkout and the only pharmacist I spoke with willing to go on the record. The walkouts got the attention of CVS. Multiple pharmacists who participated in the walkout said that the company held a conference call. My impressions of the call were positive. They said a lot of good things about trying to help us. At this point, a lot of it is generalities, but... I am going to take them at their word that they are going to do something. Another meeting with the CVS executive team is set for October to discuss progress and provide updates, according to another pharmacist who was in the meeting. While the walkouts were viewed as successful, there were some patients, like Amy Pry in Columbia, that felt the effect. I'm diabetic and I have liver disease, so I went in yesterday to pick up my medicine because I needed it refilled for my diabetes. But when she arrived at the CVS on Bernadette Drive in Columbia to pick up her medicine on Wednesday, the pharmacy was shut down. CVS transferred a pharmacist from St. Louis to cover the shifts at the Columbia Target location. However, the pharmacist had yet to arrive when Pry visited the store. I really, really like CVS. I've been with them for over 10 years. And to see that they did a walkout and a shutdown, just, it broke my heart. The potential effect on patients was not lost on the pharmacists who walked out. You know, there were there were concerns from people, you know, what are our patients going to do if we're not there for the day? That's that's a real thing, but my response to that was one day is worth it if we can actually make some long-term changes. We're not we're not providing the level of care that we need to be in, in a lot of cases. After speaking with workers all week, one common theme emerged. These issues are not limited to Missouri or CVS. Yesterday wasn't the end. Yesterday was a big day, but now we want to make sure that the, the changes actually happen and that they are wider than just a handful of CVSs in Kansas City. Multiple sources have also told me that the CVS walkouts have inspired some pharmacists at other stores to stage a similar protest in October. Reporting live in Columbia, Mitchell Kaminsky, ABC 17 News. Mitchell, thank you for that report tonight. CVS said in a statement yesterday, it's done several things, quote, including providing additional pharmacy resources to support stores that may be at capacity, providing additional support for filling open positions and increasing staffing levels, end quote.